Welcome back. Uh, our next speaker is Dr. David Murray, who's the director of Protein Immunology Lab. Uh, uh, and the topic of his talk is monoclonal protein testing. This is a very important talk, and uh, feel free to ask questions anytime, but use the microphone. And it would be best if you could save the questions for the end, though. Well, thank you very much. I'm happy to come and talk about this subject. It's a subject I really like to talk about. And I think a lot is changing, at least here at Mayo. We're about one week away from... Uh, replacing serum protein electrophoresis, or two weeks away from uh, replacing serum protein electrophoresis. So times are changing for us. I'm going to talk a little bit about that and some of the challenges that's going to pose for, for us and maybe for everyone else when we finally do that. Uh, so I took out some of the history slides that Dr. Kyle already covered that. So we're just going to start talking about a little bit about the history and about how we ended up where we're at, a little bit about the free light chain ratio, and then I'm going to talk about mass spectrometry, which is where we're heading here at Mayo. So I do have intellectual property related to the mass spec things that, I'm that we're going to talk about, and it has been, the technique has been licensed to the binding site. So I know this crowd knows this, but it's something that I always have to start out with with the residents is what is the defining feature of the monoclonal gammopathy? And so everybody says, well, monoclonal... Uh, immunoglobulin, right? But we all know that all immunoglobulins are sort of monoclonal, right? So I always have to get into the mind of the residents that this really is, the M protein is really a monoclonal immunoglobulin, but it has to be expressed above the polyclonal background for us to call it, right? And so I get a lot of questions sometimes from, from the renal pathologists, and they say, well, we see an IgG kappa in the kidney how come you don't see an M protein? I said, well, there's plenty of other IgG kappas in the patient. It doesn't necessarily mean they're overexpressing it above the polyclonal background. So that's just something you keep in mind because uh, your sensitivity to detect these monoclonal proteins really do does depend on the nature of the polyclonal background. In a hypo background, we can detect it much easier than we can in a hyper background, right? So these are things that I, I always remind the residents of when we're talking about this. So. Uh, uh, electrophoresis has been the mainstay. Uh, Dr. Kyle went over the history. Uh, there's a long history of serum protein electrophoresis. We started it here at Mayo Clinic in 1968. We did a special protein lab that Dr. Kyle actually started. We started out on paper electrophoresis back then. We didn't quite do YouTube. Uh, when I joined the lab, there was one person left who did paper. And they said paper was always exciting because if you left the lab too long, the paper would dry out and catch on fire. So we've come a long way from, uh, from uh, the early days.